Hey, what's up everybody, it's Pablo1713, hi and welcome in a Total War Saga Troy Odysseus starting guide, in which I will show you what steps you need to take to become the unbeatable Odysseus. So I will show you what to do in the first 20 rounds, after that you should understand the mechanics and what to do with Odysseus to be successful, and after that 20 turns you're on your own, enjoy the campaign, win the battles and conquer the Troy. So you know that the starting condition is hard, but thanks to my advices, it's gonna be kinda easy. So our starting position is right in here on the islands next to the west coast of the Greece, where we need to make sure that we're gonna become a lord of Ithaca. And then we're gonna go straight to the south, then to the east, where we're gonna beat the Knossos. And then we're gonna go straight from the south side to the Troy, where we're gonna finish our campaign. And what about the Odysseus? He got some special abilities. He can build the safe heavens and I will show you how it's work and how to use it. And he is also coastal master, which means that we have some unique buildings but only in the settlements next to the coast. Alright, so we are jumping straight into the first turn. So when you're gonna go to your city, you're gonna see that you don't have enough wood at the start and the upgrade costs 1360 for each and you have only 1100 wood. But there's an easy way to fix that, to get some great increasement in that materials. So you're gonna go to the diplomacy window, where you're gonna make some good deals with your future friends. As you can see, here's the information the in the green the Lord of that Ithaca you can have some well. advantage if you're gonna propose, for example, defensive alliance. You're gonna have 17 points advantage, and then adding defensive alliance will give you additional points, which means that we can now exchange those points because they are on the green, to get some materials in return, to make sure that everything will be balanced to the zero zero. So of course we are in the need of the wood, so I will try to make sure that I'm going to take as much wood as I can from him. So as you can see, if you are increasing, the maximum is in here 700, and this is the final number that I was able to get. So a lot of materials, thanks to that, we're going to have the military access and the defensive alliance, and after that, you can go and make the military alliance also, and then get some additional materials from him. So another 280, that's a lot. And we're not gonna finish here, we're gonna make additional single barter, and as you can see, even the fact that we are not proposing anything, we can still make a deal. So yeah, we can take the single barter and make sure that you're gonna grab some extra food from him. 25 pieces is always something better than nothing and wow, we can also have one piece of bronze. So yeah, that's a good deal for nothing. That's a great deal. So the first thing that you're gonna need to make sure to check every person that you have in diplomacy and try to get a good deal with them. You need to aim to have the wood I know, because as I you can see, without goods. nothing, we got wood, plenty of wood and plenty of food. You need to make sure that you're gonna accumulate as much as you can. And Left. thanks to that, before I have 1,100 and after that small session of trading, I had 2,724. Which means that I am able to upgrade two buildings at the first round, which is super awesome. So we're gonna upgrade both houses and thanks to that, we're gonna increase our food resources in the future. So what else? We're gonna go to the Odysseus, of course, and also we have the spy. And very important, we're gonna send the spy right into the south, where we're gonna use him later on. So don't waste his action in the round, just go and send him to the south. Okay, so now let's go into the research tree, where I'll show you what you need to research first to have advantage in a game. So for sure, the first thing that you're gonna need is the gold, because there are no, no other way to get the gold at the start of Odysseus story. So this is the first thing you're gonna go, then you're gonna go for the food and also to the growth upgrade. It just costs three turns, that's perfect. And then you're gonna go for the stone, then you're gonna go to the additional upgrade for the food. It's gonna reduce the cost of the food production chains and also will give you extra food. And because it's sixth on my position, it means that you're gonna accumulate more than 400 gold in that time, probably gonna have about 600. So you will be able to buy this straight away. And after that we're gonna go with 7, 8 and 9 where we're gonna try to make sure that we're gonna reduce the cost for the upkeep for our army. So this is the first 9 moves that you're gonna need to make and after that you're on your own, you can do whatever you want, whatever you're gonna fit to your game. So 
I will go probably to the left side where we have number four because I want to make sure that I'm gonna have more favor for the gods. But it's up to you what you're gonna do. Next step you're gonna need to take in the first round is to recruit the agent and you're gonna recruit envoy. So make sure that you're gonna have something interesting in specialty. Recruit him and embed him Odysseus into the Odysseus Olympic. army. Next we're gonna take the Odysseus and just gonna make the fight against the very easy AI and I will show you that you need to make sure that you're not gonna make the auto resolve because you're gonna lose plenty of units. It's better to just fight it as the fight is very easy and I will show you that you can just set up three rows of the infantry and then at the back you can make the javelin throwers and then make sure that the Odysseus and the other units gonna stra go straight away and help the rest of your guys. Remember that most of your units have the vanguard deployment, which means that you can place them in the white area, not the yellow one, the white, so really close to your enemy. So whenever I start the battle, I just make sure that I pause again and then make the orders what to attack, and then I'm gonna resume and just watch the battle, as usually battles with Odysseus takes about five minutes to finish, really. It's very easy with the Odysseus as they got really nice force. So as you can see, pretty fast and easy, we got the win. So it is very important in Odysseus play, you need to make sure that you're gonna play all the battles. It's very easy and you're gonna win all of them for sure. As you can see, only 26 people lost and thanks to that, we're gonna defeat the enemy and get some extra food and bronze. Hard work and then you're gonna have additional now. missions in which they are saying that you're gonna need to increase your army to 12 units. We're gonna do that, but first we're gonna make sure that we're gonna choose the left upgrade for Odysseus and we're gonna change the stance to ambush just in case. This and we're gonna recruit them. some three new units for our Said, army. Then done. And my small tip when you're gonna end the first round, I'm always changing the camera settings. So thanks to that, turns are much shorter. So first for allied factions, I'm making the speed the fastest. For the agents, I'm gonna turn off. And then for enemy faction, I make sure that I'm gonna also change animation speed to the fastest. And then for the natural factions, I'm gonna make the fastest fastest and turn off the camera for heroes and agents. And then I'm gonna go straight into the second turn. So at the beginning of the second turn, make sure that you're gonna recruit two additional troops, so you're gonna have 12 units in your first army, and then make sure that your envoy gonna embed the army of Odysseus. So you need left mouse click on your envoy, and then right mouse click on the Odysseus army, and then you're gonna choose from the menu logistical control, and thanks to that you will reduce the upkeep for the all units in his army. As you can see from 800 something I was able to get 1000 one round. Then we're gonna take Odysseus and attack the settlement and again you're gonna fight the battle. It's very easy, just place your army in the center of the battlefield and start the battle and then pause to make sure that you're gonna give each unit the specific order to attack each specific unit and then just observe what is going on on the battlefield. But make sure that your guys are not chasing the guys with the schools on the banners. So if they got a school, this means that they're gonna retreat and they're not gonna go back into the fight. So make sure that you're gonna redirect any unit that is following the schools and make sure that they're gonna follow the guys that have the runner on the banner. So follow the runners and not the dying units. That's the key. Okay, and after that you're gonna win this. Again, I just lost 114, not much. And always make sure that you're gonna loot and occupy any settlement that you're gonna conquer. So after that, make sure that you're just gonna repair anything that was destroyed in this settlement. And then we can also make sure that we're gonna build grain cards, which will give us additional growth to our settlement. And also don't forget about your spy, make sure that you're gonna make the murmurs of seduction to the south city. You have 50-50% chance but probably gonna be successful and thanks to that you will make some attrition to the enemy forces in this garrison. On the turn 4 you're gonna need to make sure that you're gonna send Odysseus to the south to conquer the last city in this province. So make sure that you're gonna change the stance to the march and then also make sure that you're gonna upgrade some buildings so we're gonna make sure that we're gonna make the grand pit and thanks to that we're gonna increase our growth which is very important for us and again we're just missing some 500 wood so we're gonna use diplomacy into our favor so again you can go to Mikan and try to get military access as you can see we've got three welcome. options we got defensive alliance and also we got the military alliance 
So first make sure that, that you're gonna use the combination of defensive and military access. This will give you the biggest buff. So 12.7 and thanks to that you're gonna exchange it for the wood that we are missing. And then you can make the normal military I, alliance I know, I and also get some additional stuff. So you can go through the whole list and try to get as much nope. resources again as you can. As you can see I was able to get 1600 and thanks to that I was able to upgrade this building. And then make sure that your spy gonna also make the again murmurs of seduction. And this will also lead you to the next level for your spy. We're gonna upgrade the right side so it will give us plus additional 5% success chance for any action for this spy. Also we're gonna prepare Odysseus for the land future ahoy. fight so we're gonna go into the land and just prepare Enough. for the future battle. So after that we are in the turn 6 and we have the upgrade bonus and if we're gonna check our settlements you will see that we can upgrade some buildings so thanks to that we'll have more resources and better food. And in this last slot, make sure that you're gonna build the Stone Mason's Lodge. This will give you much more stone, 88 pieces per each turn, which will be useful for us in the future. Never so we got all buildings done, we are in the round 6. Make sure that you're gonna change the stance God. from the march to the normal one, and you're gonna attack the settlement. And because we use our spy two times, this will mean that our enemy has the lower, as you can see, strength almost by half for each unit, which is gonna be very easy for us to overtake. And I can recommend you to attack from the north. This is the shortest distance to the key point of this attack. So again, split your army into the two groups. On the left side, you're gonna use the javelins, on the right also javelins, and in the middle and on the sides, you're gonna place the normal infantry and also behind the javelins, throwers. And once you're gonna start the game, again, make sure that you're gonna pause straight away, make the orders to attack each specific enemy and don't forget about Odysseus as he is at the back because he does not have the vanguard deployment so you're gonna make sure that you're gonna surround him with the slingers and also with the Icelanders so yeah they're at the back so I'm also making the small split so half of them are attacking in the front and then the other half are going to the right straight into the battlefield so they are making some kind of the road to attack from the side of your enemy as you can see and thanks to that i can close the circle later on when you're attacking from the both sides so this is the tactic for this battle so it took me exactly four minutes to finish this battle again victory just 161 units lost so that's not much and as always don't forget about to choose the loot and occupy and then you'll have the new mission objective to secure the province, which you just did. You have the whole province secured. And thanks to that, you're gonna have the reward, come but this on, the rewards will come to you after this you. round. And for the first time, we're gonna go to the Divine Will, and we're gonna turn ourselves to the right side. We have the Aphrodite, the goddess of love and beauty. And we're gonna make the Hetakum ritual to increase our favor. And after that, as you can see, the cult lover has level up and don't forget that you have the province so we're gonna make sure that to organize the games which will increase our happiness and growth to this province and also don't forget to repair this city and also we got the new level for our Odysseus so we can choose the left which will decrease the attrition and give us some better income so yeah this is the best thing so we're gonna go to the left with the third level what more we're gonna recruit three additional infantry troops for our Odysseus army and we're gonna go back to the divine will and we're gonna go into the Poseidon and we're gonna make the prayer which will give us the immunity to the deep sea attrition but this will make effect only in the next round so we are preparing just before we're gonna send our Odysseus to the sea. In the round 7 you're gonna get the reward for getting and securing the first province and making the commandment and also our prayers will be answered which will then give us a chance to go into the deep sea with our spy and also with Odysseus and we're going straight into the bottom it's gonna the island gonna be marked on the sea I'll show you later on and we're gonna go back to our main province and here we can actually upgrade all the buildings as you can see to the next level so first we're gonna upgrade the main building in our main city in Ithaca. In the turn 8 you're gonna go continue your journey into this south as you can see 
the island will be marked and when you're gonna get there it's gonna be the turn 10 so first you're gonna go and as you can see it is an occupied city so you can just take your Odysseus and just go and colonize the city with your troops Upgrade main building to the first level and then don't forget that this is just a one city province which means that you can select the Olympic Games straight away which will increase our happiness and also growth for this province. So it happened to me that my allies has been attacked so just check by clicking the flags to check the position of your enemies and your friends also and just enter the war on the side of your ally as you are kind of safe because you are on the sea and they will not bother to get the troops into your islands. Again, in the turn 11 you will get the rewards for second province. Here is very important, this island has the special building which can give us 2000 foot per turn, additional favor and also it will give us cyclops. So yeah, to get here we're gonna need to make sure that we're gonna have the growth on the maximum level. That's why you're gonna need to make sure that you are on Olympic Games and also build a building that will increase the growth. So this is the building, so the cop house. So build this and this will help you a lot. And also Aphrodite, so again make sure that you're gonna increase her cult level to the maximum because she is always giving you additional growth. So make the prayer and make also Hecate. This incense carries my entreaty. After that you're gonna go straight away into the main settlement where we can make some upgrades for our buildings. So I'll upgrade the main settlement on the right side and then I'm gonna upgrade the beach warehouse to the third level. And as you can see we are just missing about 210 of wood. Which means that actually we can go and check some extra deals with our <laughs> friends in the diplomacy window. So after that I'll be able to make the altar of Aphrodite which will increase the favor for her which will also lead to the bigger growth for my cities. And you can also upgrade those two additional buildings that left as they don't cost much and they can give you some additional buffs. And special trading camp can be useful for the future we're gonna make the second army. In the turn 12 make the prayer to the Poseidon which will then make you immune to the uh, deep sea attrition but remember that you need to plan this ahead that's why you're making this on the turn 12 because on the turn 13 you're gonna go with your Odysseus to the deep sea and also we're going back to our main island uh, where we can upgrade the city make some additional deals with our friends new friends because you're gonna uh, uncover new new factions and also in the turn 14 make sure that you're gonna go to your main city in Taka and you're gonna recruit the priestess and make sure that you're gonna select someone that it will give us the favor to Athena or Aphrodite. And then in the turn 15 you're gonna use this agent and in the divine will you'll see that you have the favor. We have 150 favor and we can use our agent by making the prayer and she will increase our favor to the specific god if there's a altar in that city. So every time you're gonna make this ritual prayer you're gonna increase the favor to the specific god so we got plus 20 favor and remember that the favor is dropping down every turn you are losing 10 to each god so that's why you need to make these rituals and prayers to make sure that you're gonna maintain the level that you are wanting as you can see we got the favor 170 so in the next turn it's gonna be 160 so you make you always make sure that you're gonna make the prayer and the ritual every specific number of turns to keep the level that you are trying to aim. What more we can also increase the beach warehouse to the third level so the maximum level for that specific city and in here we want to make and build the altar for Athena. If you don't have enough wood make sure to go to diplomacy and try to get some deals after that you will be able to build the altar for Athena. In the turn 16 your agent will be on the new island that we are heading to and for the first time we'll be able to build the safe haven. This is where you're gonna build this and it's 100% success chance so after that enter the Kisamos and then as you can see we can build I recommend to build the skirmishers camp but it's up to you which one you're gonna choose 
and then your Odysseus should be still on the sea so it's gonna take about two turns to get into the island so that's why you're preparing everything ahead with your spy to make better landing and more troops for your army. We can upgrade Aphrodite altar to the second level to maintain the 160 level. So remember to make the prayers and hatacombs every specific amount of turns. This will increase your favor. So I will make this and you will see that this will increase to 100. And also we're going to make the prayer to increase the growth because we are fighting and we want to make sure that our city is going to develop really quickly. And as you can see, we are accumulating the 250 favor with any god and this will lead us to the reward. A mythic unit is available in the special recruitment pool. So we're going to do this so as soon as our Odysseus will going to get to the land. And as you can see here, we can also upgrade the city buildings so we're gonna make to the third level for this city and we got some additional rewards as you can see we got some bonus for experience for Odysseus thanks to the safe heaven that we built in the previous round you see the prayer has answered the cult level is up and now as you can see we accumulate 300 of the favor which means that we got plus 30 growth to each city so our Hero also had the new level, so we can use it. I will go with the ammunition, plus 15%, so to the left side. And in turn 17, you can also make additional action for your agent to prepare yourself for the better attack. As you can see, success, very good. And we got the fourth level for our spy, so we can then increase success chance by 5%. But we're gonna use the right side, so damage to the old units from the poison. So now I'm going to go back and I'm just going to tell you why I want to build the altar of Athena in our second province. Because she got the third level of Athena will give us super buff, which is all heroes are unbreakable in the battle, which means that they're going to fight until the last drop of the hit point. So in turn 18, make additional ritual to increase the favor by 20 to remain the 300 space so we got 390 in this situation and always check if you can upgrade anything in your main city to make sure that you have the level 3 because it's gonna secure you and in the turn 18 again use your spy and then you're gonna use the poison wall so you know that you got additional plus 5 so we're not gonna assassinate we're gonna just the poison the well because this will give us better action result for our future fight so this use can go into the land for the first time in the turn 18 and we can go to the local recruitment and also to the special recruitment which we unlocked thanks to the mission which was accumulating 250 favor of one god so we can recruit it straight away it will not wait anything you can recruit two of them i can recommend you to recruit both of those extra units it's gonna cost you 100 gold as you got gold 108 i have right now so as you can see we got this and after that, you will get the special the agent, but unfortunately this agent wasn't good for me because she's really far away and she's only here for 8 turns. After 8 turns, she's gonna disappear. So in the turn 18, we also can upgrade I... our main building on the island that we are trying to get the Cyclops. So we're gonna try to go to the third level because we are aiming to get to the 5. In the turn 19, again use your spy, because yes, we want to use him as, ma as many times as we can. He goes to the level 5 and also we can recruit some additional troops if you want with your Odysseus. We should do this in the turn 18 if you want to recruit anyone, but I leave my army to the 16. You can recruit even this special unit, which I did later on. And I recommend you to do this before. And as you can see, this battle is going to be again easy thanks to our spy. The troops are in the half of the HP. So again, in this battle, I'll recommend you to go to the left side. Again, make the same tactic as before. So two and then on the sides with the skirmishers. And that's going to be easy win for you. And for the first time, you'll be able to use those new special units that you just unlocked. So it's fun to watch them fight as they are really strong and they will help you in the future battles for sure. So again I am making sure that Odysseus has one additional unit with him and I am making this special unit, the five of them, and they are att attacking from the right side and the rest of the guys are attacking from the left. So again five, four minutes and the 
War will be over. Yeah, four minutes exactly. 200 units lost, that's not much. And again, we're gonna loot and occupy. So the safe haven has been removed, and our spy can go to the level 5 so we can unlock the right side. So we will have plus 5% of chance of any actions that he's gonna make. And on this use, I will go to the left side to increase his range, which is gonna be very useful in the future. Again, don't forget about repairing the buildings that you just conquer. And that's gonna be finishing. So this is how, where you're gonna go. You're gonna go straight, conquer all the island going to the island on the left side as you can see and then getting straight into the troy all right so that's it we are on turn 20 so now you're on your own i think that you already understand the mechanics to focus on the growth and you know which way you should go and you know the main goal and when you're gonna get the nosos make sure that you're gonna build the second army to support you before you're gonna go on troy and remember to maintain the favor with your gods that you choose for. I am choosing Aphrodite and also Athena because they will give me the best thing that I can. And also remember to recruit the priest, the second priest on the island, so on the second province, because we're gonna make the prayers and rituals by those specific agents later on to maintain the favor and to not lose the buffs that they are giving us. Also make sure that you're gonna make all the time the deals with your friends because they will give you plenty of materials in return. And one more additional tip, when you're gonna go and meet the Nosos, first make the deal with them, but not the non-aggression pact, no. Just make the military access and take a lot of materials from them just before you're gonna attack them. Make this deal in diplomacy, this will give you some extra materials from them and then after that just attack them because this is your goal you want to attack them and take everything from them so yeah this is it's really fun to play with odysseus remember that you need to focus on growth and also on gods that make sure that you don't have aphrodite and athena on your side all the time so you're going to use your agents to increase their favor and maintain the favor all the time and remember when you are odysseus you need to fight in the first fight Remember to first use your spy to reduce the unit's number in the enemy garrison and then attack them with the Odysseus with your troops. So if you have any questions or requests make sure that you're gonna post it in the comment section below this video on the YouTube so I'll be able to see it and address it as soon as I can. So I hope that this starting guide will be useful for you, you'll see the mechanics and what to do with Odysseus to succeed in this campaign. Alright, so that's it for today, boys and girls. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope that you had some fun with me and I hope that we're gonna meet each other next time. So, boys and girls, have a wonderful day and if you're watching this at night, then good night. See you next time.